Uh, my name is Steve Skinner. I've been a potter for about 12 years. Before that, I was a painter, mostly in watercolors, and I did that for 25 years. This is the first kiln we built about 10 years ago. It's about a third of the size of my larger kiln. Here you can see it's open with some of the shelves, so there's no pottery in it right now. It's called a high fire reduction kiln, and uh, we use propane to fire it. It gets to about 2350 degrees Fahrenheit in temperature. It's so hot, it's like white hot. You can't look inside it without wearing welder's goggles. This is the second kiln we built. It's about three times the size as the smaller kiln. It holds between 150, 200 pieces of pottery. Again, it's fired, to, it's a gas reduction, high fired kiln, fired about 2350 degrees. Takes about 16 hours to fire it and takes about four days for the pottery to cool off. I call this a magic bowl. Again, a blue glaze on the interior. Uh, if you look closely, you see it's an unusual shape. It's not round, it's kind of heart shape because that was the shape of the squash that I made the mold from. You can kind of see the dimple right here. And this is two kinds of clay, three kinds of clay. A dark stoneware, all my clay is stoneware. The natural clay I use, a darker stoneware, and inlaid porcelain, which I really like doing. It's kind of difficult to do, but I really like the, the effect that it gives the outside. This, I call this a favorite bowl because it's one of my favorites. So one day I was working outside um, trying to think of what to do next in watercolor and I, it, the thought just came to me, pottery. They make pottery out in the country, don't they? And I knew nothing about pottery. But I knew there was a great studio in Chicago, Lill Street Studios in Chicago, and I went there, took an exploratory workshop in wheel throwing, and got totally hooked. Uh, didn't look back. I painted for another two years while I was making pottery, uh, and then quit painting, and I haven't made a watercolor since. That was probably 12 years ago. And so now I, I spend, spend my time exclusively making pottery, uh, we sell it at shows around the country. We travel to places, well, we go to Chicago. We travel to Washington, D.C. or Baltimore. We go to Denver. We go to Indianapolis. Uh, Kentucky has some great shows we go to. So I make the pottery, and then we travel. We load our little trailer and car, and we travel to wherever there's a show, and we set up and sell our pottery. I love what I do, and uh, for one thing, I make what I want. I, I, I do have to make what people like and enjoy, but I make what I want, and, and I'm kind of selfish in that, in that because of that, I try new things, and I don't always have to depend on people buying my pottery. I do want them to buy it because I want to pay the bills. I want to keep making pottery, so I have to sell what I make. And I don't want it to just pile up. Uh, art is not about that. Art is making it and getting it out to people. Um, what I really enjoy about doing it is it's my job. It's what, who I'm meant to be. I wake up in the morning and I have breakfast. I commute to my studio, which is about 20 feet away, connected to the house, and I start playing with clay. I shouldn't say it's playing. It's, uh, it's actually pretty hard work and it takes a toll on your body because you're really exercising your muscles in many ways. Um, but that's the kind of guy I am. I, that that's keeps me young and keeps me going, I think. <laughs> 